All right, y'all. So we are back with another Buff Bunny collection review in try on haul. I am so excited to show you guys these pieces, but as you guys can see, this is going to be a quick try on haul because I only have about eight of the pieces from the collection. Unfortunately, a lot of them did not make it in time for PR. I'm excited to bring you guys the pieces that I do have from the Buff Bunny collection times, I gotta do the X, times grounds collection. So if you guys are not familiar with grounds, it is an incredible app that Heidi and her team have created for the women's community. And I'm just super, super excited and so proud of her and her whole team for creating such an incredible launch. If you have been here for over a year, you know that the Naked Collection was my absolute fave. And this really feels like a Naked, naked Collection 2.0, which is really exciting for me. I These pieces to me give really like clean girl, sophisticated energy. So if you're into that, you're gonna absolutely love these pieces. I will be doing a try on haul for the stuff that I do have and then talking about the things that I don't have and the stuff that I for sure have my eyes on for launch day. So first, the launch is going to be on September 7th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Use code LORY, L-O-R-Y, to support me. You also will get 10% off your entire order, and you're able to join my giveaway, which I do monthly giveaways of either a $50 gift card or a size medium box, and sometimes I do both. So if you guys want to join my giveaway and, you know, just support me, I would truly appreciate it. So using my code really lets the Buff Bunny team know that you guys enjoy my content and you enjoy my hauls and all of the pictures and videos and reels that I bring to you. So it really does, does mean a lot. And I just want to say thank you so much. If you do use my code, have used it in the past or will be using it. I love you so much. Okay, let's get started with the haul. The first pieces that I have tried on is the Aurora Sports Bra with the Aurora Sync in short, I don't know why that word is so hard for me to say, uh, Aurora, it's like a lot of R's, but anyways, this color palette right here with the cold brew and the grounds color, chef's kiss. As soon as I seen it, I was like, I absolutely have to have it. Again, y'all know I love me some neutrals, but I really do love the Aurora, Aurora shorts. I'm gonna just stop saying that word. Um, the shorts and the sports bra so much, but I'm gonna give y'all guys my honest review. So the shorts, I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see. These shorts to me fit a lot better than the ones from last year. So if you ordered the shorts from last year, last year, the same style, but it was in black and white. The reason that these are so much better for me is because they fit a lot like the legacy shorts, which if you know, you know, these are my favorite shorts, the legacies, but the legs, the opening of the legs are not as tight as the other shorts. The other ones were uncomfortable. They would dig into my legs. These are a little bit tighter, I would say, than the legacy shorts, um, but not too tight to where it's uncomfortable. And then we have the silhouette right here to make us look like we have, you know, a curvy figure, which I'm absolutely here for. And then we have the back, which we have the V with the Dynamatch logo. And then again, the curve right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a squat test so you guys can see. This color for sure is going to be squat proof and the fabric is Nubri, which is my favorite fabric that Buffany Collection carries. It's lightweight, but not too lightweight compared to the butter because the butter I really feel like doesn't give you a whole lot of compression, but this one does. And we love the fact that it's also high rise, not ultra high rise. That is something that I love because I have a short torso. And overall, I've worn these actually twice already and they're super, super comfortable. So for me, the shorts are a 10 out of 10 if you're eyeing them. I definitely think that this color palette right here is going to go quickly. It also is gonna be coming in bone and white and then onyx black and white as well. Next, we have the Aurora Sports Bra, which I'm gonna be very honest with you guys, is a teeny bit too small for my liking. Um, the bra within itself is really cute. We have a scoop next with nice dainty straps. Of course, we have the two colors as well. And then the back, we have a racer back, a thin racer back with the Dita Match logo. How, and we do have a elastic band on the um, bottom half so that it does not ride up. However, I'm gonna be very honest, it is small. Like my boobs are basically popping out. I don't know if y'all can see um, really well. I'll try to zoom in, but my boobs are popping out. Like this is, this is as much fabric as you got. So I did ask the other girls um, what they thought in our group chat and they did say that it is not BTC friendly. I am a 34D and I just said, I don't think that if I was any bigger than this, as far as my cup size, I would be able to wear this. This is already kind of like a little bit too much for me. I did wear it to work out, everything was fine, but I do feel exposed and it's like, I don't mind cleavage, I like cleavage, I think it's very feminine and I wear cleavage bras all the time, but this is just a little bit too much. So I do wish we had at least like half of an inch 
more covering would definitely make me feel a lot more comfortable. I would not run in this. I would not do hit in this. I did just legs in this. And again, it was cute. I love this set together, but I definitely think that this bra is IBTC community friendly. I think if you're IBTC community, you're going to love it. I'm MTC, which is medium <laughs> cup size. Um, so I can kind of get away with both types of bras. But again, this is a very small bra in my personal opinion. There's just not a lot of fabric going on. So yeah, I'm sorry if you are BTC and you really wanted to get this bra. I'm just being very honest. Um, you can still get it. <laughs> Your girlies would be looking good, but it's just not very um, convenient, I would say. Next, we have my favorite piece from this collection. And yes, it is a t-shirt that is my favorite because I am here for a good pump cover. This color is just giving. It's absolutely stunning. And it's so comfy. It reminds me, let me show you guys of which shirt. If you guys have this one from, I believe... What collection? Oh, from Boyfriend Collection, okay? So y'all have this long sleeve, the find something worth finding. It is the same type of fabric, in my personal opinion, as this t-shirt right here. I love this one so much, I wear it all the time. We're gonna throw that on the bed. But this t-shirt, to me, stole my heart. It does come in two colors, this color right here, and then a white version as well. But I feel like we have had a lot of white t-shirts. We just had two white t-shirts in the Juicy collection. We have Quartzide, and I know we have other ones as well, so it's really nice to see a different color um, because sometimes I do like white tees, but you know, sometimes I want a little bit of color. Something neutral is perfect. So here we go with the logo. It just says Grounds Buff Bunny Collection. This is the back. I am wearing a size large. I normally wear size mediums in my tops and sports bras, but I like going one size up in my pump covers, so they're a little bit oversized. My husband also likes to wear my pump covers and they fit him great. He's normally a size medium in men's and he wears the large too for Buffany collection. So again, this is my favorite piece of the collection because I know I'm going to wear this all the time. Like I don't want to say I'm going to wear it out because Buffany collection tees do not get worn out. I wear them all the time. But if I was going to wear a piece out, it's going to be this one because I just, I know I'm going to live in it. So if you guys like some tees, this is the one. Next, we have the Dream Heather Contrast Sports Bra with the Dream Heather Contrast Leggings. I decided not to wear socks so you guys could see where it hits me on the ankle. I am 5'9". My weight is about 150, 160 pounds. Right now, I'm kind of fluctuating, um, but that's usually where I stay all year long. And... Um, I also, my waist size is a 29 inch and my hips, I believe are 41. So do with that with your May. I'm a 34 D cup size. So I didn't say that in the beginning. I'm going to make sure you guys knew my sizing, but let's talk about the sports bra first. So it's going to come in three colorways, the same colorways as the Aurora set that you guys just saw in black and white in the cold brew and grounds. And then with what's the last one? Oh, bone and ivory. So those are the three options that you have. Um, so the fabric is Dream Heather, which we saw some Dream Heather. I believe it was in Genesis from earlier this year. It is short line, has removable cup pads, and it's designed for strength training. And then before I move on and show you guys the outfit, um, we have the Dream Heather Contrast Leggings. It's going to come in the same three options. The inseam is 26 inch. That's what I wanted to get to. It does feel perfect for me. It's like a little bit, maybe an inch or two above my ankle. But again, I am 5'9". So... I do believe that the height that they normally uh, base their sizing off of is 5'6", which is the average women's height. So for someone who is taller than 5'6", it is going to be a little bit shorter, but not too much. So you're good. Um, and then we have elasticized back rise to make sure that it does not come um, go down. And then no front rise seam, of course, and it is medium compression. So this is what I know based off of my first impressions. I did wear this. The other day for my brother's lunch, actually, um, I wanted to test it out. It is designed for strength training, but I wore it more for like lifestyle and I felt like it was really comfortable. The sports bra, I will say this, it feels a little bit big. I'm not sure if other athletes feel the same. I haven't talked to anyone about it, but when I tried it, out, tried it on, I do feel like there's like extra, like, can y'all see that? There's like extra fabric right here, which y'all know I pretty much love every buffany piece, but I am honest. So I will tell you when something doesn't fit to what I normally believe is the 
average or you know the standard so yeah for sure i do feel like there's some extra fabric here for a size medium i do think i most definitely could have gone to a small and it is high enough that even if i went to a small i don't think that my boobs would be falling out so i will let y'all know if i do try on a small in the future um i don't feel like it's gonna be uncomfortable i don't feel like my girls are gonna pop out because like i said it is a high v if it was a lower v than yes and then this is what the back i love the back you guys is so pretty it goes v like an uh like a v right here i was gonna say upside down v like what am i talking about so it is a v and then it does have like the contrast with the white which i guess again i feel like is super stunning and this set really gives me meredith blake vibes like you know from the parent trap like when i seen this i was like i have to have it it's giving meredith blake she's sophisticated she's you know like bougie and that's kind of what it's giving me and then we have the dream heather contrast leggings which is a nice V. I will say this, my torso is very short. Like this is, this is it. <laughs> this is how much torso I have. I am all legs. I did see it on Kara Corey and you can most definitely see her belly button because she has a long uh, torso. And so for someone like myself, you're not going to see my belly button. It's right here, but it goes up to like kind of my mid, exactly where my waist is. So it goes up, the back goes up to like a high rise. And then I would say right here, it's still kind of a high rise, but just it's a little bit lower. But again, my belly button's right here. So if you do have a long torso, there is a chance that your belly button is going to show. If you have a short torso, it's probably going to be covered like myself. Again, these are squat proof. So if you are, you know, wanting to get some good squat proof leggings, the Dream Heather for sure is one of those, especially in the darker colors. I can't tell you what bone looks like because I don't have it, but this is basically my second favorite set. If you guys wanted to know which two are like you must have, it's, by the way, I speak with my hands a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my husband gets on me all the time. He's like, it sounds like you're orchestrating like an orchestra or something like, I'm sorry guys, I speak with my hands. But anyways, this set, like I said, and the Aurora set, I will still wear this even though my boobs look like they're about to pop out i love this set so much so these are my top two i had to start off my youtube review with these two but let's move on i brought out my bags to show you guys the difference in the colors of the breakthrough belt bag let's talk about the breakthrough belt bag this is my favorite accessory that both Funny collection has ever came out with and i'm going to tell you why i'm a mother i have a toddler he's running everywhere he has a lot of energy and when i leave my house i need something that i can put on my body to carry my phone and carry my cards without me having to like worry about where it is. And I literally kid you not, I'm telling you, I wear a breakthrough belt bag from Buff Bunny Collection every day of my life. <laughs> I have not found any other bag that's more convenient and I absolutely love it. So this is gonna be the one in cold brew. It is very dark. I'm gonna be honest, this one kind of looks black to me, um, but ne nevertheless, I absolutely love this bag. It is going to be coming in three colors, I believe in Bone, Black, and Cold Brew, which is the one that I have. I wanted to show you guys color comparisons between the ones that I previously wore and this one. So my black one, I actually uh, am washing right now, but this is the difference between Black and Cold Brew. Again, the Cold Brew is very, very dark. It is darker than the ones um, like anything in Nubri or even in Dream Heather it is very dark, but... Here's the difference. This is the mini game changer from Kara Corey's collection last year, the seven collection, but this is the color comparison. And then we have this one from another collection last year. I'm trying to think of what color this is. I will put it on the video. Um, I honestly, I'm having a brain fog right now. The new one feels sturdier. This one feels softer. This one feels sturdier. And I love that for us because it definitely is not gonna break or tear even though i wear it every single day and then this is the one in berry ice from last year as well um well actually from earlier this year in the genesis collection or boyfriend collection i need to look um but again this one feels honestly it looks the same but this one for some reason looks a little bit bigger i will have to measure it for you guys but this is the color comparison so we got cold brew we have a berry ice we have this brown right here and then we have black. So, y'all, do I have enough bags? Do I have do I have enough Buffany collection bags? I absolutely love this bag, like I said. And let me open it for y'all. So we have one main pocket. And then on the inside, we have 
two fishnet pockets. They're not with a zipper. They're just kind of there to hold any items. Like I wear um, like my cards or money you could put there. But this is where I put my money in my cards, which is in the back. And it has a zipper and it's about that big. And you can adjust it as well. Of course, it has an adjustable strap right here. And then open it and close it right here. Most people wear it um, here like across their waist um, or their hips, but I like to wear it like this because that way it's just there. If I need my phone, I just open it. If I need my card, I just open it. It's literally my favorite bag ever. So this would be like my third suggestion. My number one suggestion is the Aurora set. Number two is this Dream Heather Contrast Fit. Number three is gonna be the Breakthrough Belt Bag. If you do not have a Breakthrough Belt Bag, you need one in your life, I promise you. All right, y'all, last but not least, we have the Dream Heather set in the color grit. So I'm wearing the Dream Heather flare leggings and then the Dream Heather square neck sports bra. Let's start with the leggings. So the leggings um, are going to be coming in three inseams. I'm wearing the regular because I used to order the large, or sorry, <laughs> the long version, but or the tall version, but I did notice that they were too long on me and I am 5'9". So if you are taller than me, if you're 5'10 and above, then yes, I do suggest you using the tall version. But if you are my height, and I would say to like 5'5", five five, you can definitely use the regular. So again, the inseam for the short is 30 inches, regular is 32, and tall is 34. As medium compression, it's going to come in three colors, which is the onyx black heather, grit, and then the matter. I don't have the, I don't have the color matter because I did order some pieces, and I'll tell you guys later. But they were not in in time for PR, unfortunately, so I couldn't see that color. But however, in photos, it looks really, really nice. It has an elasticized back rise to comfortably separate the glutes. Oh, interesting. Between the glutes and the no front rise seam and designed for strength training and lifestyle. And then we have the Dream Heather Square Neck Sports Bra. This is a long line bra. It is designed for medium to high support. So the MTC and the BTC community, this is the bra for you. It also comes in the same three colors um, and it does have removable bust pads and adjustable straps and it's designed for a strength training and cardio so this is what it looks like right off the bat i can tell you the flares that buffany collection comes out with are so flattering i feel like it gives me that coke bottle hourglass figure at least that's what i think and again the flares are some of my favorites because i feel like you can wear them out to like running errands or even to like lunch or you can wear them to strength train and work out for it in them as well. And then the sports bra, like I said, is long line designed for medium to high support and coverage and for medium MTC and BTC community friendly. Of course, a small um, IBTC community can wear it as well. But I love the fact that it is a square neck. I don't feel like it's too big or anything like that. Um, if I were to bend over, I don't think that my girlies are going to come out and do some rows or if I were to do some deadlifts either. I love the fact that we do have, sorry, I love the fact that we do have adjustable straps as well. We have a crisscross and it just feels very, very supportive. I love it and it doesn't feel too tight. And then again, the leggings are designed for strength training or um, yoga, etc. And it has the V with the logo. And then here we have an elastic to separate the glutes, which you can just put right in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a squat test so you guys can see. Dream Heather, for the most part, has always been um, squat proof for me. So let me know what you guys think. Honestly, I wanted to try the color grit so y'all can see. I'm going to get closer. Um, I wanted to try the color grit so y'all can see the color and i'm sad i don't have the color matter but take it from me i've seen it in photos and i did see some pieces at the headquarters and they are very pretty so if you are looking in the color matter i think you're gonna love it so like i mentioned there are some pieces that i was not able to try usually whenever we find out that we have a collection coming up they'll send us a pdf and then we send them their our top choices and then they send us the pieces that they have in stock so unfortunately, quite a few pieces that I wanted were not ready for PR. We have the classic dad hat, which I wanted to get it in cold brew because I already have it in onyx black and white and I love the dad hat. So if you like to accessorize or maybe wear a hat, um, which I usually wear a hat on like non hair wash days, then I think you're going to love the dad hat. And then we have the scrunchies as well coming in five colors. Um, we have a butter headband, which I love the headbands because they actually stay on my head. And I already have it in white, so I really wanted to get Concrete Matter, Grant, and Grounds. And then we have a three-pack of full crew socks. Well, obviously, you guys see I love the Buffany Collection socks, but these are crew socks. 
and the ones that I'm wearing are scrunch socks and they do have like a black outline around where the toes are. And then we have the hair accessories, which is only going to be a hair claw um, with onyx black, black, cold brew and white colors. And I do have several hair claws and they do work well on my long black hair and it, my hair is very thick as well. We have the Game Changer Duffel. It's gonna come in three colors, and you guys can see it here in the photo. It is huge. I have one in a bluish color from a couple collections ago, a couple years ago, and I wear it all the time, especially for travel. Um, and then we have a Game Changer Backpack and then Game Changer Backpack Max. If you like bigger backpacks, then go with the Backpack Max. Either way, I love my Game Changer. I have it in black, and I literally wear it all the time. And if I would have been pregnant, when I was a Buffalo Collection athlete, I would have chosen the Game Changer as my diaper bag for sure. I have the ribbed deep V tank, which is going to come in four colors and it's light to medium support level. What I do know about this is that it runs small. So I do suggest the size up. There are a few girls who did get it and they all said, every single one of them said that it was very small. So make sure you size up in that, you guys. Um, we already talked about those. The leggings that I didn't get to try were the waterfall seamless leggings, which reminds me of the miracle seamless that we just tried but from talking to the other girls what i do know is that the compression is not nearly the same i think it's more kind of i don't want to say decoration but just more for the aesthetic than the actual compression um i, I did hear that it's very light and it's not very like um like sturdy compared to the miracle seamless and that some of it is sheer so i'm just i'm just telling y'all what i know in case you are looking into it uh and hoping that it's the same as a miracle it is not however it is very cute and i love the colors um but if that's you know if that's your vibe then go ahead and get it and then we have the aggressive scrunch legging which y'all know makes my booty look great and basically everybody so i do love the aggressive scrunch next we have the material girl rib short and six inch i do have the material girl rib leggings and the flares so i know the fabric um, I will say the fabric is definitely different than Nubri. It's not as soft and not as um, stretchy, so it's probably going to be a little bit more compact. I know that there's some athletes who have that short, so make sure you look for those reviews. But as of now, I haven't heard anything bad. I haven't seen anything bad about them, so I think if you're looking into them, I think you'll like them. Then we have the Rib Seamless Crop, which, again, is very cute, but I can't tell you guys anything about it because I don't have it. I'm sorry. And then we have the double dip butter sports bra, which I already know I'm gonna get. So the two things that I didn't receive or three things that I didn't receive that I know for sure I'm gonna order is the aggressive scrunch leggings, the double dip butter sports bra, and then the headband to match. So those are like my top choices of the things that I really wanna get. Um, but the double dips butter sports bra, I'm very curious to see how it fits. None of the athletes got it. So unfortunately we didn't have the review, but I, think it's going to be great. <laughs> I can honestly just tell you from the photo, I think it's going to be a great bra. So if you're looking into it, just get it. I would say this, I might get it. If you don't like it, it doesn't fit you, return it. But what you don't want is to be sad on launch day because you didn't add it to your cart. Okay. And then we have the seamless ribbed bandeau, which we did not receive either. I'm very curious to see how it's different from the better bandeau and the Nubri bandeau because neither of those bandeaus can I really wear. I have to wear the strap, the adjustable strap, because I am a 34D and just it is not BTC friendly. So who knows if the rib seamless bandeau would be different, but I can't really tell you guys because I don't have it. I'm so sad. I'm sorry, you guys, that we don't have it. Um, so again, I went over all of the colors. We have white, ivory, bone, grit, onyx black, coffee cold brew, espresso, grounds, matter, and concrete matter print, which I think the concrete matter print is just absolutely stunning. But that's pretty much it, you guys. Again, um, I hope that this review was somewhat helpful. I know that I had a limited amount of clothes to show you guys, but I really do hope that you were able to find at least one thing. Um, and at least I gave you some clarity on something that you want to order on launch day. Like I said, launch day is September 7th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. It is a Saturday. My advice to you is that if you are wanting to order something, make sure you get on the website five to 10 minutes before you refresh right at 1 p.m. You add the stuff to the, your cart that you absolutely love, cannot live without. Check those things out first and then go back and see if there's anything that you love or that you didn't end up getting um, because some things do go by quick. I think the things that I can see like going quickly is for sure the Aurora set, um, the Dream Contrast set. I do think that these flares are going to go pretty quickly. And then, of course, the aggressive scrunch always goes really fast. So 
those are definitely the items that I think will go very, very quickly. So if you're eyeing those, oh, and the teas, I do think that everybody's loving the grounds tea. So definitely add those things to your cart quickly. But again, code Lori, L-O-R-Y, will give you 10% off and support me, which you guys know I love you so much for that. And I hope you were able to enjoy this review. I will see you guys on the next one. Follow me on Instagram to see all of my reels. I do also do a um, try on haul on my stories the day before or two days before launch um, once I'm able to wear things and give you guys kind of that uh, advice. So make sure you follow me on Instagram or anywhere else that you see me TikTok. I'm there too. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.